What's up everybody? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. In this video, I'm working on a 92 model Chevy pickup truck. It's got the 5.0 engine in it. Customer was telling me that he goes to a stoplight and he turns right or turns left, or sometimes just sitting there. The car wants to cut off on him. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what can cause that and how to fix it. Let's get into it. So one of the first things I did was I started the car up and I could tell where it started to misfire a little bit and act like it wanted to cut off. I went under the hood and looked, and if you look right here, you can see that's a new distributor and that's a new coil on there. So I called the guy back up and he told me, he confirmed that someone just put a cap in, just put a distributor cap on it, rotor button, and a coil. Still had the same misfire. But I got to looking at it, the plug wires look really old and the plugs looked old. So what I did was I hooked my scope to it. Let me show you what I found. So I've got it zoomed in. That's why you got more than eight cylinders on the screen. But if you look right here, the spark line, it's starting way up here. Almost exactly where it peaks out at, at your spark. It's peaking out about 10 or 12, and the spark is starting at about eight or nine. Some of them are starting even higher than that. That's definitely an indication of a bad spark plug wire. So what I'm gonna do is get some spark plug wires ordered, some spark plugs, I'll get them on the car, we'll get the scope hooked back up, and I'll show you what the reading should look like. All right, let me get some parts ordered and we'll see in a little bit. So we just got the parts in from O'Reilly's. Uh, O'Reilly's does not sponsor this video, we just buy our parts from them sometimes. With them I'm using a select set of wires. They're a good set of wires, I've used them in the past and I've had no problems with them. We're using an AC Delco plug, and I asked her for a fuel filter because the customer wanted one, and this feels uh, very generic to me. We're gonna give it a shot and see how it works. Looking at where it was made from, I think it was made in Taiwan somewhere. So I don't know, you can definitely see, it's just not, it's just not good quality, but we're gonna give it a shot and see how it works. Putting spark plugs and wires on a truck like this is pretty basic. Just do one at a time so you don't get confused and mix the wires up and cause a misfire. I have seen that so many times. If you do one at a time, you don't have any issues at all. Make sure you put your plug in and it has the correct gap on it. Also use the dielectric grease. When you're using that dielectric grease, that just helps you in the future keep moisture out. And if you're gonna work on the vehicle, it just helps get the wire off later in the future. So let me tell you a funny story. A few videos back, I was talking about my son got a dog and the dog is a, um, it's a terrier and a uh, chihuahua. I swear to God, this thing looks just like a Velociraptor. From the teeth, to the built, to the neck, to the eyes, to the way it just attacks. And then when it looks, it just goes up like a like that movie, uh, whatever the hell it was, Jurassic Park. You watch them raptors, they go like this. That's exactly what this dog does. This dog is crazy. But I'm good thing is his dog and not mine. All right, let me go ahead and get these parts on the car and then get that scope hooked up and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I got the plug wires on and the plugs. Let's get this thing started up and let's see how it looks on the scope. So looking at the spark line, this is for some reason it's jumping around more than I want. But you can see that where it starts is around four, it looks like. And the firing line, believe it or not, is a little bit better. But for some reason, like I say, it's jumping around. I'm not really sure why. It must be a setting or something or just something not acting right. So let's go ahead and take this thing for a test drive and let's see how it does on the road. All right, we're going on our maiden voyage with this thing. Hopefully them plug wires and plugs took care of it. I'm pretty sure it did though by looking at the uh, Goat there, it seemed to be reading pretty good. It's also, I can feel a difference in the idle big time on this thing. So let me make some left hand turns here and go from there. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I'm on my second shirt of the day. I, uh, wasn't thinking a dag on walked over to a car and the radiator cap was just sitting halfway on it and that thing blew off oh my gosh got all over me sorry about that uh i must get be getting a 35 phone calls a day the other day i was 
put a damn request in to uh, just find some current health insurance. And I guess they must have shared my number between 5,000 people because I have gotten 400 phone calls in like five days. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. Getting health insurance is crazy nowadays. All right, well, we're doing good. We're still on our test drive and we are going to make a right hand turn. That does all right. Make a left hand turn. Yeah, I kind of want to make sure this thing is right for the guy. He's an older gentleman. He's probably in his late 60s, early 70s. So we definitely don't want this guy breaking down while he's driving. So this truck is driving just fine. I turn left, it stays running. I turn right, it stays running. I go straight, it stays running. It's just a running fool. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.